What's good, my pretty guys and girls out there? That means you. It's time to make a music video. I chose these two songs here and I was like, which one should I use? I eventually went with this one called Ups and Downs because it fits better and I feel like I could get a nice little teaser in the end to kind of allude to something in the future. The message I have for this song, Ups and Down, is that you just should not give up even if you are doing your best and you still don't see results, just don't give up. You don't give up. So of course the song is called Ups and Downs, right? We're talking about positions. So position or movement has to be very ideal in this video. Drag you to the depths, closer to your depth. The other theme that I spotted in my song, darkness and light, or evil and blessing. So we got the theme in mind. Let me go ahead and now go to the storyboard part. This is where I'm gonna draw certain images. It's not gonna be the best. <laughs> certain images that demonstrates what I want in these shots and to have it as a reference to the actual shooting. So yes, my very professional drawings. You can see it's just showing the direction of the music video that I wanted to have. Like Also the green screen ones that I have to plan out, I just pretty much drew them up on here. So things where I get dragged down into the depths and even this one right here. So it's gonna be me being mad and then ghost effect, which actually I'll show you that right there. You see me in long form, wow. But guess what? Boom, just like that. Boom, just like that, you can see me clearly in a 1080p frame. So I'm just gonna do a test here. I wanna see if my feet look nice too. Yes, that is suntan. You're a mess, pen up full of stress. When you're at your best, evil dragon. Now I need to do a couple more little, you know, just faces for it. Let's just test it. Now they're laughing. <laughs> Oh, I look so stupid, don't I? But it'll look nice in post. Just a part of your life. You're a mess, pen up full of stress. When you're at your best, evil. I'm actually surprised at the way it looks now, thankfully. Of course, in between there is a problem, but that could be keyed out within, you know, the editing program. I got about 12 shots in total that I used with the green screen. Two of them were from beginning to the end, just for like safety if I needed them. So I synchronized them to the song. That took about a good 35 minutes. Next up, I believe the best thing I'll be able to do right now at this moment is going to be the skit. Now the thing that's different about a skit from a song is that the skit is gonna include audio that's not in the music. I'm gonna need the help of this device right here. The homies down at Comica sent this over to your boy. This is a Comica Boom XD. Pro D2. So even if I stand up and I'm over here and I'm talking, you can hear me very well. And this is something that's gonna be really nice, especially if the camera's far away, or if I'm down on the ground like this, you can still hear me. Hopefully you saw me. Let me go ahead and show you, cause we are in a gym, how this denoiser activates. One click of a button, and the noise is gone. Just like that, no background music, no loudness everywhere. It comes with two of these transmitter devices, the receiver device, as well as some extra accessories like a windscreen filter, as well as the actual lavalier mics that you could attach if you want to conceal it on your body without people seeing a big old square while you're recording a professional movie. You can use it on your DSLR camera, smartphone, you can even plug it into your computer and use that as an audio recording capture. That way I won't be recording and there's like a whole microphone in my face. It's convenient just to have it here like this. If you are interested, click the link down below. It's gonna support your boy, but it's also gonna support the homies down at Comica. And lastly, it's gonna support you as a creator. So yeah, like I said, I do need this device that way I can record the audio that I am going to be saying when I'm doing these beginning and ending skits. All right, the things I do for video. All right, and now I gotta see how this camera work looks first. Record? All right, cool. All this just for recording a skit. In any case, here we are. By the way, the microphone is in here, concealed. But no matter how hard I try, I forget my lines, God. Lift the pen for me. Allah, what, bro? Even when we go to pay and think about this, our email tells us, in that is benefit for us, in that is goodness for us, because our creator loves us, and he will only give us what is good for us. Bad thoughts choke up your mind. So I am going to do some improvising, or at least movements around here. Actually, I should cut this one off. 
so I will. All right, that works. My cat is bothering me. Go away. All right, continuity. I just touched a damn chair. I don't know where I was. Continuity. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pull the chair, ball up myself in the corner or something. This. I also did want to go in the corner too and just ball up. This would have been a nice one for the camera, for the iPhone. Put this back. Huh? All right, cool. The broken side is hidden. Now this is where I'm gonna throw the headphones. Maybe I could do some nunchucks. This is all in 60 FPS too. That's why I need it in 60 FPS. Now I need a way for this to get into the picture. Or maybe I'm gonna make it fall behind my head. And now I gotta go up there and get y'all. Now that I edit up the intro skit a little bit here and there, I felt confident, so I took more shots, close-up shots for it. So I said, okay, let's go ahead and record pretty much me rapping in a couple of spots, but also me doing some of the storyboard stuff that I had in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and record that and I'll show you some of the editing in the process. Editing some of the footage that I've taken in the room, just doing these uh, chorus parts, for example, the introduction, but over here, I have this section here, learned up at the desk. So it's pretty much a shot of my face and then it transitions to me at the desk with, you know, my face. So here it is right here. Learned up at the desk every day with no rest. And if I go all the way with it. Learned up at the desk every day with no rest. Just the perfect, the passion that you Something like that. But I came across this thought, what if I make this song 50% and I make it show me, you know, of course moving in real time, but recording the lyrics slowly. So I have this effect of me hastily learning at the desk, you know, doing things quick. That'll give a good sense of urgency or feeling. Okay, so I did cut that out. I wanted to give a little variety. Okay, so a lot of time has passed and you can see I did quite some effects here. First off, I guess this one right here. You can see I'm stressed. Pen up full of stress. That is just me duplicating like five different tracks of the same thing, of course, and then shifting it above one and one and one. So it has this trailing effect and then adding a blur effect. So you can see there. Here's another one that I did. This is pretty much a keyframe thing. So if I were to scroll through, you can see, took my time and keyframed that up. But for now, I do need to record a lot more shots of me at different angles. So yes, I do have to bring out the boy right here, the camera slider. The footage looks cool. Take a look, I'll just skim through a little. I was a little bit off camera, but that's not really a problem. It's cool. So I'm at this part here of the song, almost near the end actually, not too, too bad. But right here we have me kicking the headphones. I throw it first and then I kick it. And then we have this line. Backwards logic, think about the present last. What put yourself first? So backwards logic, think about the present last. Since I kicked the headphones, I'm going to do a video style effect where the headphones just come back into my hand like this, I guess. Backwards logic, think about the present last. All right, so that, I'm gonna reverse it by. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to practice that. Is there book up where get out zero abs? Issues from the so as you can see on the timeline, we have everything filled up. For the most part, everything looks right. Uh, actually, there is one continuity error in the 
video you'll probably notice what it is i mentioned it kind of like you know earlier in the video maybe now comes the fun part and by fun i mean very very torturous part that being the green screen spots i'm gonna have to keyframe the part of me in the photo where i say hey either it pulls me down or splats me so the idea is to get this hand i want just the hand so that keep it like this and then just pull myself down so grab by the time i do that grab we're going downwards so for example just a little mock here something like that but of course before doing any of that i have to keyframe this hand so it's in the back or wow i'm smart but i have to keyframe myself to be like hey he grabbed me or i grabbed myself so i'm gonna have fun with that and by that, I mean, I'm not. So it just drags them down or it drags me down, I guess. But you can see right here exactly what I did. I just took those points and maxed out. But the good part is that with the blur, it just kind of blurs it out. <laughs> like we don't got to worry about being too, too perfect with it. Also notice that my hand, my left hand or no, my right hand gets squished. <laughs> I like that little added part there too. Of course, I do have to add something in the background, which actually I'll... Could I do that right now? I don't feel like doing that right now. I'm going to take the whole entire segment and then do some zooming in or something. Zooming out, zooming in type of thing. Yeah, that works. So this is the only other part that I believe I have to do a lot of keyframe working on, which is where I'm going to eat myself. Pause. So I went into FL Studio, like I said, the Z game editor. And you can see, for example, if I hit play. Pen up full of stress when you're at your best, evil drags it to the depths. So, there's effects that I put on this Z game editor, and pretty much the automation changes how it looks. Evil drags it to the depths. You can see the shaking, that's cool. Yeah, I think I'll tackle the coloring of the video next. This part right here looks so cool. I like this shot because the shadows feels immersive. Auto, let's see what auto does. Okay, I mean, it kind of did something there. Now, I don't have a color graded monitor per se. I mean, I calibrated it. What I like to do is export the video and then watch it on my either the MacBook or my iPhone. Because, you know, a lot of people kind of default to that. But we can see here, hell of a lot of difference. My method for color grading is usually just playing with these sliders and then perhaps throwing on a LUT. I'm just going to swipe through these. It does pop nice. Hmm. Bad thoughts choke up your mind. Have itself. Yeah, it works. What I'm gonna do is copy the symmetry effect and I'm gonna paste it into the next one. Yeah, that works too. But let's say for one of these clips right here, this one, control paste. You can see when I paste this one in here, it looks like we still gotta do some work onto it. So let's just do this, hit auto. I want this box to be a little visible. I have to lower the contrast. There you go. Now we can see the dome in there before after this could bring in a lot of fuzzies but that's all right oh look that makes it so much yeah i'm cool with that for the whites i'm looking at this top corner here try not to overdo it I'm cool with that so if i play that section here bad thoughts choke up your mind have itself down so these little touches do a lot to the video. So yeah, I'm going to have to just copy and paste these similar clips. Also, I'm going to have to well, do all the unique ones too. Like the big light one, I'm going to have to work on that. Ladies and gentlemen, the video is officially a wrap. Yeah, I just added sound effects here. I used one of these, went into the booth and recorded because somebody was cutting grass. And then for the pills, I had to add in this sound effect because the end noise was really noisy. Other than that, everything looks great in the color. I'm happy with it. There is a couple of parts that I wish I had more to do. Like, see, I, I added a glow effect on this one. But the one for the money, I wanted to throw like money in the background, like green screen, but that's too much work. And there is the one with the eyes. And this one right here, I was thinking about putting like a big eye in the background, but at this point it's like, nah. But I watched it over and over and I am fit with it. I'm happy with it and it's ready to be uploaded and put out.
I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video because, well, it took a long time for me to do it and I don't think I'm gonna ever do something like this again. But if you wanna see more of that, like behind the scenes, maybe me breaking down a music video that I create in the future, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna check out the music video, it's somewhere here. And if you were ever inspired to create music because of your boy, after watching that music video, I guess, go ahead and check out justinomoe.com where I have a video course series. It will support these little critters, but of course it'll support me as well as yourself. So with that being said, thank you guys and girls for watching. It is your boy, Justin Omoe. With that being said, peace. I'm out. And please have yourselves a damn good one. Yeah.